Hi, this is Gail, and welcome. Well, I kind of put the cart before the horse and put up Roxy's Weekly Challenge Week 35 with the circular stickers prior to doing Week 34. So I am back tracking today, and I am going to do Week 34, which is Masterboard with Doily Collage Tags and journal cards. So, I just thought I'd put this up for you to look at while you're listening to me ramble on. And uh, got this at the Dollar Tree. Just adorable. And these bumpers are bumped up. So, it's kind of cool in 3D. But I thought that was really cute. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is glittery. So, that's going in my den. Which theme is... The red truck, which we, of course, had on our little farm back in the day. So, let's get started. Week 34, here we come. And, this is uh, one sample that I made for you to take a peek at. Now, it was from a master board, which I should have taken a picture of or scanned, but I didn't, because it was pretty blah, I thought. So, anyhow, it did have doilies, and then some little embroidered pieces, and lots of colors, and so, well, not really lots of colors, but the embroidery the pieces that were embroidered had some color. So I added this little piece. It is from um, this little box that I got as part of your Creative Studios August kit. And it comes out like this. You peel it off and whatever. And I thought it looked a little bit like a gate. So I put my bird on the gate, gave a butterfly a tab, oh, a little label, and then believe. So, that's that. I do have some prepped and ready to go to save time. Okay, so, let's see what we have. There are only two tags, and the rest are journal cards that I have prepped. So... Let's, first of all, since I have it right here, and I have gone around, and yes, I have done the distressing, although you really can't tell on this so much, but let's put this on, and I have a new camera set up, it's a new holder, so we will see how well this works and so pardon me if I'm not always on screen today because I'm just trying to figure it out Woo! and pardon me if I can't get my glue on what I'm trying to glue either holy guacamole okay so this is going to go right in here, put that on, and give it a few minutes to add here. And I have already picked out the bird, and I tore around that picture from the book. It's called Birds. Um, I think it's by the Audubon Society. And then I thought I'd put that on here. And this and this are going to go down here. And Wild is going to go up in here. It's a very simple one. So, what's up with that? Let me get out my glue stick. And I think I'll do my gluing 
over here, kind of off over on the edge, maybe even off camera, not positive yet. It's not like you need to see me roll glue on anything. I'm sure you can figure that out on your own. And I think that's a titmouse. A tufted titmouse, maybe? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get back up here, closer to on stream, or on camera. Oh, yes, this does. And I'll be honest with you, I really can't tell what letter that is supposed to be. So, I figure if I can't tell, you can't tell, and nobody can. So, we're just going to put it down here. And this has been glossy accented. These were numbers from freebies from either Tracy Fox or Artie Mace. Andrea Allen. So, there went my mouse. Loves to fall off of my little slanty work area. I just thought look, look cool down here. Then we're going to do wild up here. These have all been distressed to save time as well. So, woohoo, there we have it. What do you think? I think it turned out pretty cute. There. Bring it up. Okay, now, and on the back, it's just distressed around the edges and great for writing. Now, I don't like that. I can just do a little swirly action with my distressing tool very lightly on the tag. And voila, gives it a little color. Looks kind of swirly. I don't know if you can even see it. Okay, so there we have it. Now, let's take a look. The rest are journaling cards. So, I think what I had decided to do was to put that there. And put this here. And... I think that's really about it. Just not a lot here to do. Okay, and everything is distressed. I don't know. Okay, ooh, look at that. Now that came off really easily, thank goodness. Okay, and I feel like this was just sort of on the edge there and there. And notice you can see through it a little bit. Because it is a sticker and it's a bit see-through, which I love that idea. So, hmm, going to save that. Might use that acetate for something along the way. Scoot this over and over to make sure I'm on frame. Okay, so now we have this to put down. So let's give this a gluing. And I am using my Scotch Create glue stick, which I do find to be the best glue stick ever. 
in my opinion. And let's see, where did I put that? Did I put that about there? Not absolutely positive, I'm going to be honest. Nothing is set in stone, though. We just put it where we feel like it looks good, right? And then this has already been distressed. So, we'll give it a glue. And a little wisdom never hurt anybody. Am I right? There we go. So, I don't know. Can it use more? Sometimes I think I just get too busy. They get too busy looking, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, I think I'm going to leave that that way. And that way this video also isn't going to be super long. But as a journaling card again, we have the white. Tell you what, let's just distress that Looks like I didn't distress the back of these, and that is fine. So we'll go through and do that now. I could round the corners on these, but I think I'm going to leave them for now. If I go to put them somewhere and I need to round the corners to make it easier to get it in and out of, whatever. I'm putting them in or on, then I will. But for now, I'm just going to leave them. Okay, and again, I just did the little swirly do, which make it, makes it look a little distressed. And there we have it. Okay, third one down. And let's take a look at this one. I guess I was thinking... This could kind of go under here. I thought this looked kind of cool. I don't know if you can see. There's um, a piece of gel print underneath that has some gold shimmers. And that kind of comes through almost like the sunshine down here. Okay, so it's the wrong place for sun. But I don't care. It's the idea, right? Of course it is. Okay, it's a little dreary here in Saginaw, Michigan today, but it's cooler and more pleasant, so we will take it for sure. And I just spread glue all over the corner of my lens on my glasses. I don't know how. I managed to do these things, but I hope that's not a scratch and that's glue, because that would be awful if it was a scratch. Okay, looks like it was glue. Don't know how I managed to do that, honestly. Just me. Okay, here we go. Back at it. Alrighty, so this has already been distressed, and let's just stick her down. Yeah, these pictures are so vintage looking, I really don't know how old they are. But I really like them. And it's sad that they're double-sided because you do lose one side or the other through the process. So there, that looks good to me. sticky. Okay, I won't obsess about it, Lori. She'll give me a hard time. 
for obsessing about it. Okay. All right. And I have dropped my little ticket. There, that's supposed to go up there. Just, yeah. Okay, remember I had that Lord and I tell me I didn't um, glue that down. Nope, I dropped it. Let me see if I can get out my trusty claw. Whoop, there it is. My grandson loves my claw. <laughs> he just adores it. He has more fun playing with that thing and picking things up with it. So... Right in there. Alrighty then. So we have a little number and there. That's kind of cute. Except for I got sticky on the front of that. How did I manage that? Oh my word. Oops. And I haven't done the back. So let's get that distressed. And I'm sticking to my paper. I get this done, I will be completely caught up on Roxy's challenges. Woohoo! So now I need to get caught up on the Ann Brooks, her challenges, uh, the slow stitching tags, 52 tags handmade. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, last one I'm going to make on screen, and this has, this piece is from Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. This is in part of her new freebie for her Facebook group, and oh, I really like the freebie. It's cute. I love the colors. Okay, so I think I'll put that on first. Okay. Just kind of up here in the corner a little bit. There we go. Then this is going to go kind of right up above that. I don't know how I managed to film these out of order, but I did. It happens from time to time. Nobody's perfect, right? Okay. The birds are carrying on outside. I don't know what's going on. Maybe cats around. Okay. Alrighty. I know this is a little blingy, but hey. Sometimes you need a little bling in your life, right? To jazz things up. And it definitely is sticky. It adds a little dimension to 
which is what I like. So, put that down. Come on back up here. Well, why is that sticking down? I know I didn't get st sticky on it, which, you know, is my M.O. I don't know. I feel like maybe it needs something else. But it's already got a few little words down here, and yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's good enough. Let's uh, distress it, and we'll call it good enough. Okay, when you do that light swirly, it almost makes it look like it's marbled, to me, anyhow. Sorry about the shadows, like I said, it suddenly got rather dreary, and I do have my light on. All right, so let's see what we have got for this session of Roxy's Weekly Challenge. We have that one. Now, we have that one. Then we have tags. We have this one. And this one, of course, I had done earlier. So, isn't that fun? Those master boards can look pretty boring, so adding the doilies and uh, the lacy you know, bits on paper, or for real, uh, really jazzes them up some. So, thanks for watching, and please get out there and find your joy, whatever that may be, and follow your joy. And also get out there and create smart, make something fun, and by all means, please stay safe and Stay healthy. And until next time, bye-bye. Hang on. Hunting for my mouse. Ah, oh, the claw wins again. <laughs> okay. Goodbye and thank you.